Hi, this is Francis Wade over at the Two Time Labs. And one of the big problems that we all have is what do you do about big goals? How do you stay on track to accomplish them? And in corporations, this might look like a strategic plan that is always put together with great gusto and fanfare, but throughout the year, nothing happens. So the reason that we have a, a, a challenge or a problem often with big goals is that we don't break them down into schedulable, actionable items. So the Randy Posh video is one of the most popular time management videos. And he talks about the, the fact that he puts get tenure as an item on his to-do list. And it's a pretty big to-do because there are lots and lots of activities that need to happen in order for him to get tenure. And here's what the best time managers are doing according to some of the most recent research. They don't just put it on a list. They actually go into their calendars and plan all the activities, actionable activities, in their calendar to accomplish the end result. Now, it might include meetings with other people. But for something like getting tenure, most of the activity involves solo time to write, time to research, time to uh, go into the library to read uh, the most recent abstracts or the most recent journals, time spent to write papers, time spent to, to go to conferences, um, finding the conferences to go to. They're all activities that take place over a multi-year period. And what the, what the research is showing is that people are doing pretty much what often, if, you, if you're familiar with project management techniques, the idea is to take the end result and to explode it down into its piece parts using a, a, a technology called Gantt charting. Well, that's exactly what people are doing, except they're doing it in their calendars. They take the piece of the project or the piece of the activity that is actionable and that applies to them, of course, and they put it right into their calendar. So they know exactly when they're going to be researching different conferences. It's 2 to 4 p.m. on um, September the 30th, um, and they're going to be spending the time going to, through the Internet to find the different conferences that they could attend. And they put these critical activities in their calendar, make sure that nothing falls through the cracks. And also, so that they can properly estimate, is this enough activity in order to produce the end result? Am I setting aside enough time to write papers so that I can get tenure? Am I going to the right conferences so that I can get tenure? So they can look at the overall plan, just in their calendar, and decide whether or not it will produce the result. So all of us have access to this technology because we have a, a calendar on our PDAs, our smartphones, on our laptops, our desktops, wherever. And we can all think about long-term goals, even if they take several years and break them down into the activities that will produce the result. So, if you like this idea, share it with people that you work with, share it with your management, share it with people who work for you, and um, if you want more ideas like this, based on the ideas in two time, uh, sorry, in Time Management 2.0, tune in here at the Two Time Labs. This is Francis Wade. Take care. I'll see you later.